Hey guys, um, this is a request that um, Latucci on PS answered um, on my Q&A query. I was like, if there's anything you guys want to know, ask. Um, and she asked um, what a day is like in my life. So I'm going to give you guys like a basic story of my, like, a typical day or whatever. Um, when I wake up, I'm very cold and slow. It's very strange, but, yeah, if I actually sleep, everything slows down so much that waking up is, is difficult. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a process. Um, yeah, so once I'm awake, there's a few things that I have to do right away. First, take meds, depending on how long I'm sleeping. Like, certain levels of drug levels will be down, like on my heart meds or whatever, and like still more sensitive to palpitations or weakness or dizziness or just icky feelings. But probably the most, the strongest sensations being cold. Very, very cold. Um, and weak and just not good. So yeah, first priority is the medication and heat. Um, I'm almost away, my body slows down so much, and I'm freezing, so I have a couple space heaters, I have one downstairs in the garage, because I spent a lot of time out here, and I have one up in, uh, Mr. Nampasa Maya's bedroom, so usually my wake-up ritual is to go and sit in front of that heater for a while, until I warm up. One sec, I'm just gonna make sure. Alright, I was just making sure that was recording because I'm paranoid because with the Blackberry I have to turn it so it's facing away from me. And so I can't tell like if it's still recording or not. But um so yeah, meds and warming up and then once I'm able to move, my first priority is to put up the tea kettle and make Mr. Empath a cup of tea for the morning. Um, that's kind of our little greeting ritual. When I'm well enough, I love to do that for him. We're like sickeningly affectionate. <laughs> so yeah, like, um, I like to do that, like start his day in love and something special. Sometimes he drinks coffee, but lately we've been drinking more tea. So, usually a hot cup of tea to start his day. Um, after that, it takes me a few hours once I'm up and I'm medicated and warmed up to really feel okay. Um, and it's not until that point that I know if it's going to be a good day or a bad day. Um, I don't have very many good days anymore, unfortunately. Um, between the weakness and the nausea and pain and just lots of ewy things. Um, but once I'm feeling better, um, then next on the list is caring for the empath household animals. And we have a lot. We have six cats. Two pugs, two Solomon Island Eclectus parrots, a hen, and Mr. Empath has fish. So, um, the kitties always are needing lots of love and playtime. The birds are needing lots of love, playtime, hugs and kisses and talking and visiting and stuff. They're very smart and need a lot of, um, interaction. And, uh, my hen, Willow, she, I just get, make sure she's got food and water, 
see if she's laid an egg, so I go get it. Um, and then my ring, my pug, she's always with me. She's my therapy dog, so wherever I go, my mic comes to. Um, so I try and get moving quickly after I've had my meds and everything because I need to help her go out potty. She's got some back leg damage, um, nerve damage, it, I guess it can happen to dogs when they age to get arthritis in their spine and the nerves get occluded or somehow um, they end up losing feeling in their feet and so she drags her feet, she can fall easy, it's really sad. Um, but yeah, the first priority is getting her outside once I'm mobile again. And Aunt Chong as well, he's our boy pug mom's pug. And so, um, this time of year, I'm outside my little home base at the patio table. Just being close to nature. You know, that's, that's my heart and soul. Is being close to nature. And even in winter, oftentimes I'll be out here with the space heater cranked, it's an awesome one. And just having the back door open a little bit gives her a connection. Um, I'm really, really sensitive to things like noises, lights, different, different things, and especially TV. I just I'm not a TV person, it really bothers me, I just get agitated, I think, not so much, well it depends what's on, but commercials just, I can't deal, they're just so irritating to me, agitating, whatever, and um, <coughs> unfortunately, Mom and Mr. Empath are avid TV people. So oftentimes, um, mom's in the living room, and Mr. Empath is up in our room, so that's another reason I spend a lot of time out here, just to get away from the constant TV. I, I, I just can't handle it. You know, one is that, and two is, as an empath, things affect me very easily and very deeply, even fiction, so, you know, drama TV, or if Mr. Empath is watching, like, a war documentary or something, it really impacts me in a negative way, so. But once I'm settled down, medicated, warm, um, waiting for meds to kick in, I get online, and I'm almost always, when I'm awake, I'm connected somehow, I either am on my Blackberry, which I'm using to record this video, or my netbook, which um, allows me to be anywhere I want to be, wherever I am, I can be online. And I've been using my Blackberry most, 